So we're gonna try to do a short video this time, but I'm gonna start this by telling a little story about fantasy flight games. Partly because LSS just announced a ban, Seeds of Agony, in all of its forms, plus Duskblade and Classic Constructed, and as I know a lot of people are gonna be salty about it, the chain players are losing their fucking minds right now, everybody else is singing the praises because we're sick of, we're sick of chain, because we're sick of chain. I think they swung the needle way too far in the wrong direction, but um, we're gonna talk about that. Like I said, this is a story about Fantasy Flight to begin with. Um, Fantasy Flight had Netrunner. I still think Netrunner is one of the greatest games ever created with one big glaring fucking exception, and that's the Anarch identity. It's basically the class. For you Flesh and Blood guys, you had classes. Um, there was Anarch. Uh, he was one of them. Um, Anarch's fundamental, like just the, the way he functioned, busted the game. No matter what new mechanics came out that Fantasy Flight had, Anarch's just core being broke it. It just, it circumvented the risk and reward idea that, that Netrunner was supposed to be. And the response that we got from Fantasy Flight was always the same. Two years down the road, we're going to fix it. We have a plan. Don't worry. The game's going to suck now, and we know that, and you're just going to have to deal with it because we have a plan. And that was garbage. That was utter trash, and I stopped playing Fantasy Flight games as a result of that because that's just a shitty way to go. So I have to commend LSS for coming out and saying we made a mistake early. And I think what's happening is they looked at the status of Chain, where he was winning a heck of a lot more games, he was a substantial part of the playing field, and doing very, very well. Yes, he's losing to troll decks, but nah, I don't know how much I really count that. Um, he created a bit of a negative experience for a lot of players and a lot of heroes he was against. And they said, you know, it's either we're going to lose confidence in the game because he's around for too long, or we're going to lose confidence in the game by coming out and saying we made a mistake. We would rather lose confidence in the game now and admit that we made a mistake than sacrifice the health of the game long term. That's how I'm seeing this. I feel like that's the trade they made. We want the game to be healthy down the road, especially in big things like nationals. We don't think it's that way now. We're going to come back and we, we're going to do this ban and it's going to piss a hell of a lot of people off. I, th I think they made the right decision there. The decisions that they made, I don't necessarily know if they picked the right cards for this. Um, I am definitely against the Duskblade ban, um, but I'm going to talk quickly about both of those. At least they're not being fantasy flight and saying, we have a plan and you can go fuck yourselves if, uh, if you don't trust that. That's garbage. So thanks guys for not doing that. Let's talk about Seeds of Agony. Seeds of Agony is is core to the chain deck. I've taught one of the best players in Colorado. He was 11th in Vegas um, with his chain deck. Said that chain it, you know, really relies on Seeds of Agony, and he suggested that they only ban the yellow version. And I don't necessarily disagree with that. I think that a partial ban, banning one color, would have banning one maybe even maybe two co two colors might have been excessive. But banning one color, I think that would have been pretty good. I think that would have been a nice little trade off. I would have at least liked to see it tested um, and tried out i don't i i think that was pretty solid um i do like that it's seeds of agony uh there have been other suggestions for what could have gotten banned that just let chain go um he also suggested art of war which i'm going to be honest i'm wholeheartedly against i think that's a little silly same with a uh, an errata to shadow puppetry which shadow puppetry is not just a chain card so why screw leviah over um certain things i don't agree with but i do agree with the idea of maybe putting one of the colors, if not two of the colors of seeds on ban. Because in doing this, you also kind of screw over Eclipse. Like, how the hell do you play Eclipse now? Um, eh, eh. Um, Duskblade, I know I have a big problem with. I'm struggling with the banning of Duskblade, partly because if they're confident in looking at Seeds of Agony and saying, you know, the it, we're, we're confident this is going to be fine, and the internet kind of showed them that it's not, why are you coming and saying that Duskblade is going to be a problem and you know, without letting the internet show you that maybe it isn't? Maybe there are ways to get around it, especially with so much control. I don't think Duskblade's as big of a problem as they think it is, um, especially after the minimal testing. You know, they, they only tested in Blitz. They did, they said, oh, we focused more on the limited format. Um, that's that's how we tested and that we really liked him in those but then we got to classic constructed and uh, it all kind of went to shit like really classic constructed's kind of the main thing that you were doing that's the main point of the fucking game to begin with you've said it's your main format you've used it everywhere and you're saying you didn't test it that well guys I get it monarch was very limited 
That was their thing. They introduced talents. They're showing you, hey, this is going to be very limited. It's the, you're going to love the limited format with talents. Tales of Ari, this is going to be the best limited set ever. And we love it. And you, yada, yada, yada. How do you miss Blitz? And, how do you miss your constructed formats so much? I'm a little frustrated at, at the idea at the Duskblade band. But again, it's them sacrifice. That's me losing a little confidence. But perhaps they saw it and said, this is going to help the health of the game later on down the road. And I want to see that. They deserve that. They have earned that. Despite these little snafus, they've made a spectacular fucking game, and we all still very much believe it, even though we knocked them off of their high and mighty pedestals of being the greatest game creators of all time, because they kind of pulled a magic on us. Sucks, but let's play it out. Let's just see how we do. They owned it. They said they have a plan for it, but again, you know, that's getting into fancy flights. We have a plan. Uh, their plan is to just better their testing processes. I hope we see more play. I so I hope we see play testing announcements of like, hey, we'd love for you guys. We'd love to do a play tester application process. That'd be really fucking cool. Um, but yeah, they, 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 they could do a heck of a lot better here. But that's where I am with the ban. Um, I, I like that there is a ban. I, I'm not entirely sure. I do think they swung the needle too far in the uh, in one direction when it came to Seeds of Agony. Um, but again, let's play it out. They said that Chain is still viable, apparently. Let's, let's see what the internet figures out. Let's see what they do. Um, they deserve that. So I'm excited for the internet to figure out this little problem. Um, I know for the next couple of days, people are going to be salty as absolute shit. Sorry, my phone is going nuts. Um, people are going to be salty as shit about the chain and it's going to be, oh God, it's the end of flesh and blood. It's not. Shut up. Um, but eventually, as we always do, we will figure it out. We will see if chain is still an actual problem. Uh, and if not, we'll see who else becomes a problem. I'm excited for it. So that's my hot take on it. Health of the game, I think, was a good trade-off. Short-term confidence kind of sucks, but it was kind of in jeopardy anyway. There we go. Under seven. Cheers.